Good morning and welcome into today's Sports Brief. I'm Gerhard Mathangani. The excitement for the SEC season opener continues to reach a fever pitch. Alabama made some news after releasing its depth chart for the first game of the 2020 season. And it comes as no surprise that Mac Jones won the starting quarterback job. Jones played in several games last year and started four of them. He accounted for over 1,500 yards and four touchdowns a season ago. From late October on, he had the nation's second highest QBR only behind Joe Burrow, who went on to win the Heisman Trophy and later picked first in the NFL Draft. Mac has had a really good camp, uh, really played well in the last scrimmage, um, done a good job of taking a leadership role. I think he's playing with a lot of confidence. I think our players have confidence in him. Uh, so, you know, we're pleased with his development. Uh, I think it's important that, you know, Mac plays within himself, executes what we need him to execute in terms of distributing the ball and uh, just do his job. and. Uh, I think the players around him know how important it is for them to do their job so the quarterback can function effectively. And I think it's going to be a combination of uh, all the guys that we have, because we do have some experienced players on offense that um, are very capable of uh, doing things the right way. A lot of after hours, not with just me, but me, Matt, and the rest of the receiver corps, just a lot of after hours getting the connections down, getting the timing down. And Matt, he understands the importance of being a starting quarterback and the things that he has to do. And he's came a very long way, and I'm excited for him. Here's a look at some notable players on the starting lineup for the tied defense on the depth chart. Defensive end, LeBron Ray, nose guard, DJ Dale. Linebackers, Dylan Moses, Christopher Ray, and Christian Harris. Cornerback Patrick Sertain, safety Daniel Wright, and a pair of freshmen get the nod. Will Anderson and Malachi Moore both in the starting lineup. Meanwhile, the tied offense full of familiar names at the skill positions. Running back Najee Harris joins Mac Jones in the backfield. Receiving core highlighted by Devonta Smith and Jalen Waddle. And Miller Forrestal is back at tight end. The line is a veteran unit with a lot of talent. Left tackle Alex Leatherwood, left guard Deontay Brown, center Landon Dickerson, right guard Emil Akayor, and right tackle Evan Neal. Moving to high school football, there were several week four games affected by the impact of Hurricane Sally. Those games made up over Saturday and Monday. Here's some scores from last night's action. In Class 4A, Escambia County knocked off St. Michael Catholic 13-9. Williamson and W.S. Neal played a nice defensive game. Williamson wins it 14-3. In 3A, a pair of top 10 teams hit the field. Number 5, T.R. Miller posts a shutout against 9th-ranked Bayside Academy in an impressive showing. Final score 35 0. And in Class 2A, Clark County all over St. Luke's Episcopal 46 7. And finally, on the diamond, the Atlanta Braves opening up a four game series against the Florida Marlins. Now, the Braves found themselves down early. 3 2 fins. Austin Riley with the hit for the two run double. Braves take the lead 4 3 in the first. Bottom of the second, Ronald Acuna Jr. up with a man on. Drives one to left for the ground rule double. And Atlanta extends their lead. Now sitting at 5-3, Acuna not only getting it done on offense, also on defense. Top of the fourth, Garrett Cooper sends a shallow fly ball to center field. Look at the diving catch. Check it out again. Acuna, yet another great defensive effort, keeps this game at 5-3 Atlanta holding the lead. Marlins tack on a run to make it 5-4 in the top of the ninth. Matt Joyce with a man on. Joyce tops it back to the mound. Mark Melanson Throws the out at first base. Then Freddie Freeman fires it across the third. Dansby Swanson is covering and makes the diving tag on the runner, attempting to go to third. Completes the double play. An incredible effort defensively for the Braves all game long. Atlanta goes on to win it 5-4, a gritty performance. The record now sits at 32-22, and, and their magic number is now three. And that is your sports wrap. Our program continues next.